So my friends keep telling me that reasonable people don't ask themselves if they can put Arch Linux on an old MacBook Pro. But I've got this old MacBook Pro, and I don't think I'm reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be so quirky, so funny if you try to install Arch Linux on an old MacBook Pro? No, you idiot! Why would you do that to yourself? Okay, so it has been months since I decided to do that to this thing. It does have Arch Linux and Hyperland and all the fancy things on it. I got terminals. I can spawn them as much as I like. I've got this fancy schmancy top bar. That's what all the cool kids are into. But my sanity, <laughs> it's gone, it's gone. I took so much psychic damage. Now, what I'm gonna do right here is save you. How bad could it be, right? <sighs> Instead of giving you an educational video on how to do this, because God, please don't, <laughs> don't do this. I'm going to show you what that experience was like so that you know not to do this. This is an educational video in how not to waste your life. Even if you don't watch that, let me just tell you this. Don't do this. Just don't do this. Save yourself the time. Just use the MacBook the way it is or get something else and put Linux on that. Don't, don't. No, you're not going to save this piece of hardware and turn it into your little Linux box and hee hee, it's super fun. No, not the T2 Max, bro. Not the T2 Max. Here's how that went. It starts with curiosity. How install Linux on 2018 MacBook Pro? <laughs> can be challenging. Curiosity leads into discovery. This cannot be the guide. Bluetooth partially working. Audio is partially working. What is with the intersection of anime and Linux stuff? <laughs> this thing's gonna suck. <laughs> and having installed multiple Arch Linux setups in the past, I felt overly confident. At this point, we've done enough research that I feel comfortable starting. Now we just go through the Arch install process. How bad could it be, right? Right? And hubris led to mistakes. I don't know what any of these are. I'm just picking the biggest number I can find. Uh-oh. <laughs> now it doesn't boot and I can't get to recovery mode. But my overconfidence kept me persistent for a while. This has to be recoverable, right? This is fixable. I think we can fix this. But one can only fail so long before they need coffee and a nap. Probably in the other order. <sighs> I don't want... <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> All right, I'm calling it. I'm trying again tomorrow. But I would not be conquered. Having learned lessons from day one, I trudged forward into day two. <laughs> it's day two of this MacBook nonsense. I don't know, I, I looked through the wiki, I didn't see that one link that I needed, and I started winging it. Don't do that, that's a terrible plan. It, I, I've never, I've never seen that work. So let's, let's not do that this time, and hopefully succeed. And just like that, I started figuring some stuff out. So I need to re-jump into the live install media to root back into this thing, set the password, jump back out. But we're so close. Come on, baby. So close. <laughs> Finally, I got to bask in my moment of triumph over this stupid machine. Boom. Hey, hell yeah. Eefy boot? Eefy boot? Okay, I think we're working. Let's see if I can jump back to screen. Can we just, can we just, can we, look at it, look at it. Is it useful? No, <laughs> no, but it works. The greater the psychic damage incurred during the process, the greater the sense of triumph when you finally get this thing working. And then I installed Hyperland. That's that's super easy. Look at this. I got terminals. I can spawn them as much as I like. I've got this fancy schmancy top bar, which, you know, is that's what all the cool kids are into. I can jump between multiple desktops. Uh, I got I got my runner. That's it. That's all the stuff, man. That's all the stuff. I, what more do you want from me? There you go. But here's the thing. As I worked with it, I realized something. This thing sucks. 
I mean, no hate to the people who set up the T2 Linux uh, MacBook stuff. It's super impressive work, and anybody who can manage to get this stuff working like and use it regularly, power to you. But, I mean, the sleep stuff doesn't work, so if I close the lid, sometimes it doesn't just wake back up. The touch bar very frequently locks itself into the wrong configuration or doesn't wake up at all, which is important. Whoops. <laughs> which is important on these guys because it's one of those ones where the F keys are the touch bar, right? Audio doesn't work when I'm on 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, but it does sometimes a little bit on 5 gigahertz, but it doesn't matter because all my earbuds are wireless. It's 2025, so I don't get audio because it's Bluetooth required and this thing's Bluetooth partially works. <sighs> So who is this thing for? Why would somebody go through all this trouble to set up Arch Linux on a T2 Mac? It's because I got a lot of hate comments on my Windows video. That's why I did this. I took the hardest distribution and put it on the dumbest set of hardware so nobody could say I don't have Linux chops. That's why I did it. And that's why you might do it. And you might think to yourself, oh, I'm not as stupid as Nathan. I'm not going to waste all my time on this. But the next time somebody talks shit in the Reddit comments, you can tell them. You can tell them, yeah, but you've never gone through this hell. Not like I did. I bet you install Arch with the Arch installer. That, that is what this is. It booted into Mac. But for real, what is with the intersection of anime and Linux stuff? Can somebody comment down below?